How much of a milestone was this then for the Chinese? Yeah, it's quite significant because it really does show that the Chinese space engineers are closing the gap with their rivals, of course, in the United States. The United States first sending, of course, that uh, Viking 1 and 2 uh, rovers to Mars back in 1976, 45 years ago. Uh, we also, of course, had the Soviet Union in the early 1970s make several attempts to land on Mars. One of them did get down to the surface, but it only transmitted back to the United, back to uh, Earth for about less than a minute. And then the European space Space Agency back in 2003 also lost its Beagle 2 lander on Mars uh, before it reached the surface. So China really, as far as successful landings, is the second nation uh, to successfully land on Mars. So this does close the gap. And believe me, China has significant space ambitions. It's not only going to be uh, you know, Mars and beyond, it's going to be uh, a space station, which is going to become at least scheduled to become operational by next year. And uh, there, there's no telling what they can possibly do now that they've successfully landed on Mars on their first attempt, I might add. What, what, what else do they have planned, Steve? Well, again, that space station is coming on board, Tiangong. Uh, also, they're going to be doing a crewed mission to the moon by 2029, a crewed base on the m m moon. Crewed, I have to be careful how I use that word. C-R-E-W-E-D, manned base on the moon, I should say, by the 2030s. A robotic mission to Mars as well is planned. An asteroid exploration, a mission to orbit Jupiter by 2036, a Uranus mission by 2030s. So again, I, I was reading a number of articles from state media. They have so many ambitious plans for deep space, including next generation launch vehicles, interstellar missions, asteroid mining, as well as mining of the moon, potentially, space-based solar power plants, uh, and possibly even a space elevator, which would be a large cable attached to the equator of the Earth going up into space to allow easy access of materials to that space station and other areas and other endeavors and projects. So uh, this is something we are going to be covering uh, quite extensively going forward as China now uh, has upped the game in the space race.